Hello, welcome to this video. We'll all be showing you how to use the Voyage 200, more specifically the intersect and zero functions. First, turn your calculator on by pressing the on button right here in the lower left hand corner. You'll be opening to an app screen. If you're somewhere else, just press the apps button here to get back to the app screen. Press enter on the y equals editor. I'm going to plot the uh, first graph here x squared, so x caret squared, close parenthesis, plus 3, press enter. And we're going to plot the other half of this equation as y2, y2 equals 7. Then we'll determine where they intersect. So press the green diamond key, and right over the r is graph. It'll say busy here in the lower right hand corner. If you want to pause it, you can press enter, and it will pause. And just press enter a second time, and it will start graphing. Okay, now once this is done, press F5 and intersect is number 5. First curve, second curve, it doesn't matter which order, just make sure to get two different curves. Lower bound will be on the left, and I need to get on the right of this intersect, so let's estimate. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it turns out they intersect at x equals 2. So I'll put that here. x equals 2. And a similar method for the other intersect. Press F5 number 5 for intersect. First curve, so I'm going to scroll back down so I can see what it's actually selecting. Okay, first curve, second curve, lower bound, I want to be on the left of this intersect. 1, 2, 3, 4, so I'll do negative 4. And then to be on the right, I'll enter 0. And the intersect is at x equals negative 2, so I'll enter that. Okay, so those are the answers to the first problem. Now let's go back to y equals, and I'll clear these out. Clear button is right here by the apps button. Okay, now that this is done, I'll go on to the second equation. So, x squared, and then plus x, minus 6. This time I won't do y2 equals 0, because that's just the x-axis. Okay, now green diamond key and R to graph. And this time we're going to be using the zero function to find the intersect, um, to find the roots of the equation. Okay, so now press F5 again, and zero is number two. So lower bound, upper bound, I want to be on the right side of this. Um, 0 right here, so 1, 2, 3, enter, and it turns out to be 2. Okay, and now I want to find the other 0, so I'll go to F5, number 2. Lower bound this time will be on the left of right here, where it intersects the x-axis, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 will be to the left of it, to the right of it, would be like negative 1 would work. And then the 0 turns out to be negative 3. Okay, let's do one last one. So I'll go back to y equals by pressing green diamond key and then w. Okay, I'll clear this out. Okay, last one. x squared, x caret squared, plus 3x enter, and now the second half, y2 is 10, enter. And now I'll graph this, green diamond key, and the letter R. We'll say busy again. And this will be very similar to the first problem I worked. And, and there's the second part. Now if this wasn't quite if you wanted more headroom on the top of this graph, you could go to um, window, which is green diamond key and the letter E, and you can get more on Y max, like I could say change this to 15, and then graph this, and you see Y max is much greater now, and I can, it will center my graph more the way I want to see it. Okay. 
So we'll be doing the same thing again. Go to F5 and intersect is number 5. First curve, second curve, lower bound, upper bound I'll estimate to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the intersection is at x equals 2. Okay. And now F5 again. Intersect is number 5. First curve, let me scroll back down. First curve, enter. Second curve. Lower bound, I'll estimate to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7. Be on the safe side. And then maybe negative 3 to be on the right of that. And the intersect is negative 5. Negative 5. And those are the answers.